All right, my lovers, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you might be finding this video. I salute you. I'm MJ. I'm the founder of Ultra Love. You can check out Ultra Love, subscribe, do all that Shazam. We send out a monthly newsletter and uh, just basically what I'm up to, what Team Love is up to. You can check out the online courses. Be the change, my lovers. The Be the Change courses are lighthearted. They're really just helping you go vegan or zero waste or getting connected to your spiritual practice or unplugging. The final course I released was called Unplug for Freedom. And it's basically, again, I've been on this guided intuitive journey. My whole yoga career was guided. And then this whole brand has just been like, I want to make the world a better place. What should I do? And then holla shazam. Um, and then the Be The Change courses, because it was over 10 years ago. So like back around 2008, 2009, I was getting really into the yoga. I started teaching classes and I just knew it. I was like, I cannot watch TV. So, um, and now, you know, a sort of yoga profesh and meditation teacher and stuff and it's legit like fear porn supreme <laughs> triggering your nervous system <laughs> you know and then everybody's pointing finger you did it it's it's a it's a recipe for <sighs> hala shazam anyway okay divine guidance you guys tarot readings um divine guidance and living clarity so straight up this is like part of the bigger picture of the intuish on the rare occasion, Intuish, for whatever reason, might not be able to tune in. So I wanted to send a massive, like, so much love, but also, like, a funny feeling around, like, it's only, it's only come up a few times. Sometimes I think things need to tell. Um, but anywho, if the intuition is like, I can't do the reading for whatever reason, hala respect. I, it just, it is what it is, Okay. So I just listen to intuition. If intuition is all like crunkly and da -da, da 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 I know that I won't be able to offer you the the kind of reading that one might deserve, or just simply straight up, I don't I don't feel comfortable for whatever reason. So you know, I do apologize, and yet it's a professional integrity thing. It's like it's like it's like with the yoga EFT, and yet there are plenty of like human issues. There's no way I could even begin to help you with that. But I still. Have so much love for everybody, so much love and forgiveness and all that jazz. Do, 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 do. Divine guidance and loving clarity is the main vibratory for this reading. Okay, you guys. Ooh. Ooh, there's a cup of love coming in from this King of Wands. I feel like there's maybe a sense of you looking over your past. You might be doing some healing. For some of you guys, getting shivers. For some of you guys, you might be healing around quite a radical transformation around your like circle of friends. So like people you used to party with, you might not be partying with them anymore. You might have a friend who's, you know, overdoing it a little bit. But King of Wands, you're coming up as really bold. But this can also be like a love offer because there's an Ace of Cups. So there's new love coming in. Uh, and then the, the star card, sometimes I hear that song, like, when you wish upon a star, makes no difference to you. <laughs> do, 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 Okay, what, what we got? Mm. Yeah, I'm asking for clarity with the Ace of Cups. Is this new love? You think? Yeah. This is definitely new love. You guys, I must say, there's something about like getting through the fray and letting stuff go as well. The moon in the reverse of the Hierophant here. The Hierophant's in the upright. There's a lot of major arcana as well. I mean, yeah, this could be a proposal, a marriage. Um, part of what I'm getting is like, okay, say it's a couple, say it's a marriage vibratory or proposal, like taking the relationship to the next level. Um, but like, it's almost like the relationship itself has gone through a significant process because the, like what I'm getting is that 
shadows, shades, lies, like all part, you know, the typical, like getting to know you and falling in love. Imagine it being kind of the opposite, like getting to know you and triggering all your shadow and be like, fuck you, but you're lying, cheating arsehole because I've been cheated on in the past. But this person isn't that this person is like a potential loving, long lasting partnership. And actually what you're doing is coming into love, getting to know each other, transforming a lot of your shadow. Both parties here probably have some Shazam you need. I mean, that's just warranted, isn't it? That's the thing about reflective reflective work. It's that you attract what you are. You attract part of your beingness. So it's like those parts of other that we want to reject are usually like aspects of self that we want to be working on. It's such a difficult pill to swallow, especially because our programmed rhetoric or like our programmed pattern speak is usually to blame and attack. That's, you know, I don't know about you guys, but like, that's triggers and fights. It's because both parties don't know how to have space for one another or each other or the self. It's so, it's so profound. It's such a kind of leap, but, um, anywho, let's pull some, a few more cards here. The star card. I mean, also I would dare say you guys are moving forward, possibly in this relationship after having, walked away released let go straight up legit you guys some of you have just done a significant amount of healing so well done there is something about for some of you there is this decision that you're coming in with that's probably it you've made the decision like you're choosing to heal um like uh, certainly coming into this reading you're you've chosen to heal some of you have chosen to walk away from a situation from a group of people uh, that also usually includes from a pattern of behavior and you are healing part of the healing process is the when you wish upon a star when you you're healing you're healing your waters right like the emotional plasma field you're healing all of that and then don't forget to wish upon a star you're you know, during the healing, as you heal, purge, let go, then who, how you be feeling about moving forward? Where do you want to go? How do you want to move forward? This is like a regenesis, a new, like more love coming in. And then ha la 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 la, like somebody that reflects you, somebody that, yeah, for, this is also like you give yourself this new beginning in love. You feel better about who you are in love and we naturally attract, and this could be friends, we don't always have to default into like a romantic partnership. This could be creative collaborators. This could be total awesome friendships that like feel like home, feel like reflection, like feeling super connected, right? However, in the context of the reading, it's more than likely love, you know, of the most high. And especially because there's an evolution here with the Hierophant. So the Hierophant, again, like I was saying, the moon reverse, four of swords reverse. This is stuff you've let go of. This is um, deceptions or lies or or um, veils even. You've risen, right? Like that's part of it is that the moon energy here is like you're coming up with this sense of authority and or again, this relationship could be moving up to another place of uh, like commitment after maybe both have like sussed each other out more. Yeah, probably more like that. And then again, for some of you, it's almost like if this is not like you're like, oh, um, it's more like make a decision then. I, it's a funny thing. Like people, we all waffle around. I'm like, I don't know. But like, we don't vocalize things. Years and years ago, I remember somebody saying something like, well, if you don't ask, you don't get. And I was like, <laughs> you know, because, well, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, is it rude to ask for things? And like, even recently saying no, no means no. You know, like we talk about things in the context of violent acts, but to me, in a sense, it's all vi it's violence at the root, you know, like whether you're requesting something from somebody here, there or wherever, and they say no, it's a no. If somebody doesn't understand that and they persist, that's invasive, potentially violent, right? And so you just sort of like... <sighs> You know, just from a mega, from a place of, of love, like honor yourself. 
and and it's a tricky one right because we're not here to control each other we're not here to like get stuff from each other which again their capitalist world would 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 certainly differ from that perspective people talk about karma i'm like do we really understand what karma is <laughs> you know on a very profound deep deep level karma being energy we can't escape ourselves and that's that's part of like karma as well right like we can't escape or once we start this path once you begin the kind of regenesis or or like healing journey the one person you're never gonna escape is you it's you you guys let's pull some more cards i'm rambling on i am suddenly like filled with some presence i'm not sure it's like an energy ace of pentacle it's been a long long road i'm hearing it's been a long long road you think ace of pentacle mm, yeah it's been a long road to this new beginning you're following the target like for some of you the new beginning this long road or whatever that's been a target you've been swimming toward for a while for some of you, I would dare say, like, if you're holding back, like, if you're not expressing your emotions, like what I was saying before, don't ask, don't get. Like, if you don't share your emotion, if you don't tell somebody how you feel, do you think they'll be able to read your mind? Do you think they'll assume based on how you've behaved? So there's definitely something about like if you see if you see what you want and you know what you want and go after what you want, don't forget to let the person know that you want them. Yeah, because otherwise some of you I feel this is making me feel kind of sad, right? Like some of you I feel just like didn't choose or stayed really indecisive and now are sad. <laughs> Sorry, sorry to laugh, but like, it's like you're sad because you didn't make a choice. And now you're just alone and sad rather than choosing love or choosing a commitment with somebody. I don't know. Or, or simply choosing a new beginning, choosing to heal, choosing to move forward. King of Wands. This is a bold energy. This is a forward motion energy, cardinal type of energy, right? This is Sag, uh, Leo, uh, Aries bold you can see where you've been you can see where you want to go like straight up whether you think it know it want it or not the cards are technically saying you might be thinking you're reviewing the past or looking over things part of what you're manifesting is a new beginning in love and a potential commitment boy girl he her they whatever <laughs> this i mean look this is what i'm looking at like this cup of love give yourself a new beginning and then holla shazam live it live it with somebody this is something else as well, I think, after all this lockdown vibratory. Like, I don't know about you guys. Like, I'm naturally introvert, but it's it's gone into this. It's gone way past, like, healthy as far as, like, restoring oneself into, like, these lengths of time in, in, in isolation to the point of almost being frightened of reintegrating. Like, I'm finding myself, it's like, it is, it's like being quite traumatized, going back into social settings. Bear in mind, like, I'm usually a lone female traveler, and, 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 um, and there is, like, there is a bit of shady trauma around, like, groups of people, and people just not, yeah. And then, so it's like, slowly re-socializing, but that's, it's quite uncomfortable, and so, like, quite easily, you can be like, eh, I need to retreat again, but then... I guess it's just as you continue to heal, you, your perspective changes, then you change, and then you're a different, you know, like, I I really truly don't feel like there's right or wrong or good or bad in that regard. I feel like there's, like, knowing of the self, and there's integrity, and there's decency. This is something I think we have to address within our culture, right? The culture what we cultivate as a people. Um, totally lost my train of thought. Oh my God, I'm still rambling on. We're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna tire up culture, what we're creating. I was kind of onto something there. Um, well, yeah, just that, like, what are we creating? Do we want to live in a culture that just prioritizes making endless amounts of cash? 
And like, where does that cash come from? And why do some people have so much and others have so little? Just, just you know, again, this is the economy. Oh, this, I don't, you know, I can't, you get to that point where you're just bored of people constantly putting you down. So you just, you don't share stuff, you know? Like, I, I kind of don't understand why people are so resistant to the idea that we need more love in our politics or we need more spirituality. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I go, oh. this stuff that we're talking about with a greater sense of love and compassion just creates more sense. Like, I don't want to live, I don't particularly want to be living in a world where every major city has severe homeless issues. And then you have the wealthiest people building big mansions next to the homeless people. I'm like, I genuinely don't understand. And like, you know, those extreme levels of, well, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. But I, I from the spiritual perspective, the, 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 the kind of extraordinary homelessness and drug addiction and these these the sort of underbelly issues of our culture straight up legit are the shadow of the greed so 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 the people that like uh, don't want to look at the slums or don't want to don't want to like ooh those people ooh those are like reflections of like the parts of yourself that you're unwilling to deal with just theorizing over here it's like the polar end reflections you know? I knew this. So divine guidance, love, and clarity. This is that building. For some of you as well, the higher fund there, I'm like, oh, straight up. So some of you might be getting engaged. You might be getting married. You might be just like exchanging keys with this person. And then you're building, oh, for some reason I want to cry. This three of stones, uh, living in the moment. Honestly, let go, be free. You got this, straight up. You got this. You are on it, my friends. <laughs> There's a creative energy with that tarantula for show. Commitment. Something, something is coming in, possibly that evolution of, of the, of the uh, relationship, a greater commitment to yourself, whatever it is that you're creating and building, you're going to be well on your way. Uh, yeah. And that's because you've done a significant amount of healing. And then for some of you, if you're indecisive, honestly, that's what's creating the pain over here. So, some of you, if you're indecisive, if you're not making a choice, that's why you're hurting emotionally. If you have a choice and you're not taking it and you're sad, that's, that's on you. Honestly, with love and compassion and love and light. Love and light, lovers. And also shits and giggles and poops and farts. I don't know. <laughs> and love and light, bubbles of the most high, you guys. Have a great day. Happy, 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 happy Wednesday, my lovers. Go buy stuff. Okay? Go buy it. Go buy it. Go buy the love. Help a sister out. Come on. My intention is to, um, yep, yeah, look after the old mother, my mother, and myself. Then once we're silly, once we're solid and looked after, then we'll just go splash cash everywhere. <laughs> It's like, I don't know, like, yes, that's all. Like, brilliant of trillions of dollars just to give it away to all the people. It'd be like, wait, like, that isn't how the economy works, but it could. It could work if all any of us really cared about was looking after ourselves or another. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice with do, 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 do,